Hey, CB Smallwood here, and you're watching me on 100 Days of Making Comics. And I uh, just wanted to give everybody another one of my quick updates, which are never really quick. <laughs> but anyway, the past couple of days, I've been kind of uploading videos uh, kind of infrequently. Like I'll upload a video one day, and then I'll skip the next day, and then upload a video day after that, that sort of thing, you know. Um, and really what I wanted to do is upload a video every single day and kind of get these 100 days knocked out. Because part of the challenge of um, 100 days of drawing comics is for 100 consecutive days in a row, you're supposed to be... Um, drawing something, writing something, inking something, doing something that's going to further your uh, art goals, you know. And, uh, well, I don't think I've done too hot with it. It's been a challenge uh, for me to... Um, figure out all the equipment and and uh, edit videos but I think I'm I'm starting to hit a really nice uh, stride with everything that I'm really starting to like um, well I don't know if likes right where but I'm getting I'm getting a more comfortable place you know Uh, as far as my comic goes, um, I am making progress in it. It's uh, slowed down a little bit. And oddly enough, I think you know part of the reason is just uploading these videos because a lot of times when you're doing uh, pencils and you're doing it for the camera, uh, the pencils don't show up as well in front of the camera uh, when you compare it to uh, using the inks. So... Uh, nobody wants to watch a guy, you know, draw something and can't even tell what he's drawing. I mean, I know I don't, and I'm pretty sure most of you don't. So that's that's a bit of a concern for me because I don't want to upload videos that no that that nobody wants to watch. I mean, nobody wants that. Uh, you know, and also, uh, you know, I've been busy uh, as a dad and as a husband and all these other things. You know, you. You gotta make time for everything that's important to you in your life, and family is important to me. And and now I'm trying to make time for comics. Um, I'm probably going to try to knock out maybe like two, two or three pages of my comic. Uh, the pencils and I'm gonna go and get them scanned uh, fairly quickly so I can begin the uh, ink uh, process and really play around with it um, and You know, it's been, uh, forgive me for not ha knowing your name right off, uh, but um, somebody who's t taking the time to come in on one of my videos was uh, recommended me um, using a light box and stuff. And I don't have a light box yet, but I do have one on the way. And I'll try, the, I'll try some light box techniques. And I'm also wanting to try uh, blowing up thumbnails, which is something um, my friend Will Avenger uh, recommended and uh, for anyone who wants to know Will Avenger is an artist as well and the reason uh, Avenger is not his last name but it just kind of rolls off the tongue and sort of like how I'm going by CB Smallwood uh, you know he's going by Will Avenger because 
it, it's it's a good way not to get lost in the shuffle I guess you know um, I'm going to tell you right now this this uh, video of me drawing this head it look it's actually looks wider than what it hell it actually does on the paper um, it's like a weird effect or maybe that's see it looks more like that to me but when you lay the paper flat it just like whoosh, widens out it's weird okay And um, so I got that going on. And I, I want to mention also um, about another reason why I've been uploading my videos infrequently is because um, I don't want to get in the habit of talking about drawing and uploading a video about that. Uh, talking about wanting to draw but not drawing. Um, because to me personally, I, I mean, I don't want to insult nobody. You know, if, if you're going to take on the challenge of 100 days of drawing comics, then for 100 days, you need to be drawing, writing, inking, lettering, doing something of that sort, taking some type of concrete action to draw, write, color, ink, so, something that's going to further your goals to becoming a comic book artist or making a comic book or what have you, you know, some type of productivity and you know I don't want to get in the habit of making videos where I'm just talking about doing stuff you know um, you know on occasions I probably will you know to, to kind of keep you guys up to date of why I'm not being more productive but for the most part I want to make the best effort into doing videos where I'm actually, you know, doing stuff, you know. Um, this thing that I'm drawing right now, well, it's not a thing, it's it's a it's a woman. Um, I'm pretty much just drawing this to have something to draw, you know, and to kind of give you an update of where I'm at. Uh, and I do see this as part of furthering my goals because, you know, the more you draw, the better you're going to get and the quicker you'll draw and the more confidence um uh, let me show you let me show you guys something right quick uh hopefully the camera won't get all wibbly wobbly this right here uh this is what i'm actually drawing from i'm uh swiping copying whatever you want to call it into this now does it look um shoot i can't do a side by side comparison but there it is again and here's this right it's not it's not an exact copy or anything it's more inspired like I, i'm looking at the shading and stuff and this is from uh issue nine of jim lee's wildcats um Back when Jim Lee used to be part of Image before he became the head guy over at DC. And now I've lost my page. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but I was kind of looking at that for inspiration. I'm trying to pick up new techniques and new ideas, you know, and different things that I can try to get better as an artist, you know. Um, and, uh, the big, big thing was this type of shading, which is not really anything that's not new to me, but but still, you know, I don't do it that often and it shows. Uh, 
Um, but anyway, like uh, ever, ever so often, you know, I'll pull a comic book out or a piece of art out or have it pulled up on the uh, old computer, you know, my desktop. And if it inspires me, you know, I'll try to copy it. But I always kind of take my own spin on it and do it in my own way, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not opposed to copying somebody, you know, like, you know, totally, you know. But at the same time, I kind of like doing things my own way. I like that, that freedom, you know. And, uh, again, you know, the reason I draw from comics and copy other artists and all this other stuff is, is not to, um, steal from them in, in, in the negative sense, but to, to learn from them, to grow as an artist. And there's nothing wrong with emulating your heroes or trying to take bits and pieces and Frankenstein in from your heroes, you know? And uh, I'm not really uh, paying much attention to my line work right here. You know, I'm just kind of doing whatever because uh, my whole camera set up and I'm, I apologize. All I do is talk about my camera set up. Uh, I am moving past that, you know, but I feel like it, it does limit me and my ability to draw on camera. But in the coming months ahead, uh, I, you know, Lord willing, I, I will try to, you know, change things up and do some different stuff. Uh, let's see. Well, you know what? Change my mind. I'm going to do this. Yeah, something like that. And... We'll just say that her hair is like flipping over the other side and coming out this way. Um, before I wrap this video up, it is coming to the end. I goobed up right there, but I'll I'll fix it. <laughs> but. Uh, You know, I went to the high school the other day with my friend Will Avenger to give a um, to give a talk about comics, about life, about drawing, about art, and it went really well overall. You know, I mean, there's a couple of people that nodded off, I'm sure, uh, and then there was other people that gave a solid nod of approval. You know, but you know, the big thing is I want to remind every everybody that. No matter what their passion is in life, that, you know, I wanted to tell them that the two precious resources that you have in life is time and your mental state of mind. Now, your mental state of mind, if you don't have a good mental state of mind, then you're going to waste a lot of time. If you don't have a good mental state of mind, then you're not going to be able to be there for your friends and family. You're not going to be able to be in a good mood to better yourself as a person. I mean, being in a good state of mind makes a world of difference. Now, to be fair, it's not easy to be in a good state of mind. And I'm not no expert in how to achieve that. But it's something that's very desirable and very necessary and for, for you to have a good, prosperous, healthy life. Now, the other precious resource that you have in life, it's not gold, it's not oil, it's time. Time. Because, you know, just like an hourglass where 
things are dripping away. Um, well, you know, time is limited, you know, when it comes to human beings. We, let's say like we live to be a hundred, right? Assuming that. Well, then you already know that um, there's a limit to what you can do within those 100 years. And if you know that, then you got to invest your time wisely because once you spend that time, you don't get it back. So time spent is either wasted or it's invested, right? So the thing that I tried to tell the high school kids is do not waste your time, invest your time. Now you go have your fun, you live your life, but at some point you need to have a plan, right? And you need to do, you need to do whatever that plan is. You need to take some type of concrete action, you know? Don't just talk about it, do something. And even if it, it's unproductive in the sense of, you know, you didn't accomplish anything. You always accomplish something if you're trying to do something because you've learned from that experience and it, and it makes you better for it, you know. Sometimes in the process of doing things, you learn what not to do. So, you know, the kids were receptive to that message. You know, some of them... It was a bit much, and others um, got it right away, you know. Not everybody does, and not, not everybody's ready to hear that or agrees with it, but I could elaborate on it. But this video is about done, and this crappy drawing is just about finished. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that has liked, followed, upvoted, and subscribed to my uh, channel. Um, I hope that you continue to do so for everybody that likes and upvotes my videos. You're helping me out quite a bit to get my stuff uh, seen more. And it actually encourages me to draw more and to keep doing this. Because if I feel like people's actually watching my videos and gets a little something out of them, it helps me to, you know, keep doing them. Uh, regardless of how <laughs> crappy that I make them. Okay, let's see. But anyway, uh, don't forget to uh, like, follow, subscribe, uh, upvote, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks again.